Alright guys, what's going on? Linky here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about my favorite topic in the world, and that is locations in the Pokemon world. Specifically, we're going to be talking about some of the best locations that give off a fall autumn vibe, the season that is happening today. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, I know very timely, very it's out of the blue. Who could have planned for such a video and who could have had this thumbnail ready for like a year? But we are going to be delving into this topic today, and I'm going to be discussing a handful of my favorite locations from the Pokemon world that give off that autumn, cool, chilly feel that we are entering now here in the Northern Hemisphere. So with that being said, let's jump straight into things. Now we're going to be going down almost in descending order in terms of what places I like the least on this list of places I like the most, and then the place that I ultimately have picked as my number one. And the first that we're going to be talking about is Fall Arbor Town in the Hoenn region. Now, part of it is that fall is in the name, Fall Arbor Town, but it's one of the more temperate regional parts of the Hoenn region, which is a region that is much more tropical than most Pokemon regions. It is at the base of Mount Chimney, Fall Arbor Town is, and in the routes leading up to it, there is soot and ash falling from Mount Chimney, and it is covered the entire route. Now, Fall Arbor Town is really interesting because it is, it, it's spooky almost in a way. When you go to the south of Fall Arbor Town, you come across Meteor Falls, and Meteor Falls is the home to some Pokemon which may not be from this world. They might be from space. And space and things of not this world usually bring about the thoughts of Halloween, bring about spooky, scary thoughts. And when you think about fall, you typically think about Halloween. And if you live in the United States, you also think about Thanksgiving. And that is why Fall Arbor Town, as well as having a great uh, theme, don't get me wrong, like that doesn't necessarily play into my ranking here, but Fall Arbor Town has a lovely, lovely town theme as well. That is why it is the first on my list. And it is the weakest. It's hard to find specifically fall centric places in the Pokemon world because these things vary very quickly and they change rapidly. But Fall Arbor Town is the first on this list. It is the bottom of the list, but it is still a great location nevertheless. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time and it would really show me that you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, going over lists, talking about Pokemon games. We've been doing a lot of brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus discussions recently, but I'm also going to be moving into some other non brand new game Pokemon topics in the coming weeks here as well. So if you want to see any of that and you never want to miss it as soon as it goes up, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now. The next location on this list is where things start to get turned up a little bit, and it is Route 15 in Pokemon X and Y, the Kalos region. It has, before we even get into anything, one of the best Route themes in all of Pokemon. It is the one that constantly gets remixed. It's in Smash Brothers. It is an incredible Route theme. It is iconic for the Kalos region. That theme and the Tower of Mastery theme are two of the most iconic themes from this region. And Route 15 just has that fall aesthetic. And you'll notice this on other parts of this list as well. It has the falling leaves of different colors. It almost appears that the trees have just now dropped their leaves. They just had changed color and now they're coming down. The trees are becoming more barren than were they were in the summer, and we are really in that swing moving towards winter. Route 15 is a wonderful route because it just it brings to life the Pokemon atmosphere in a way that Seasons really did in Generation 5 and really haven't done since. Seasons is a feature that I wish would come back and become a mainstay in Pokemon games because it does a really cool job of showing you different forms of Pokemon as they did with Deerling and Sawsbuck, and it just changes the aesthetic and the feel of the region you're in in such a varied way that it it, it makes the world feel more alive, and that's why ultimately Route 15 is on this list because it brings back some of those fall uh, seasonal vibes from Generation 5 when they had seasons as its own feature. And Route 15 also go, goes along with the next location on our list, which is Laver City. Laver City is to the north in the Kalos region, Pokemon X and Y yet again, and it screams Halloween, which in my eyes screams autumn. The Laver Gym is a fairy type gym, 
You, it is a massive tree in the center of the town. The Pokeball Factory is in this location as well. This is also the town where you can find Gengarite in Pokemon X and Y. So it really plays into these Halloween themes. It also has a similar aesthetic to Route 15, which is this more autumn look, changing of colors of leaves, some darker pinks and purples to go along with that Halloween vibe. And fairy type Pokemon are interesting because they're not ghost types. They're not inherently scary, but they are a type of Pokemon that has some really out there and really wild designs to it, more so than, you know, normal types, water type, fire types, the basic Pokemon types. Lavera City gets to be on this list, and it is a wonderful addition to the Pokemon world. It is such a playful city. It is such just an interestingly designed city. It's almost like a caricature of what you would imagine an RP, a JRPG city to be, and Lavera City takes the cake with it here on this list. Next up on the list is the pride and joy of the Sinnoh region. It is Eterna City. Now, Eterna City would be nothing without Eterna Forest, which is to the west of the city itself. And in this forest, you have the old chateau, which is where you could find Rotom in the original Pokemon games, and you'll probably also be able to find him in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But it's just a spooky location. Also, what really helps Eterna City is the real, like, laid back chill vibe that the music gives off and the backwater town that it seems to be. It's out of the way. In order for the player character to reach it, you have to go through a dense forest. You have to see sites that might make others turn back, being the old chateau, as I mentioned before. And to the south of Eterna City, you have the cycling road, which is not going to be walked by everyone if we are putting ourselves into the Pokemon world. And then to the east of Eterna City, you have Mount Coronet, which is also incredibly difficult to traverse if you were, you know, actually living in the world of Pokemon. Eterna City is kind of on its own, and it has a feel that is a little bit different from the rest of the Sinnoh region, and it really fits with that fall chilly aesthetic at the base of a mountain. You can imagine, like, images colleges would try to sell you as to why you should enroll there, and you have photos of students walking around their campus in the fall with mountains in the background and falling leaves and falling trees. That's the kind of vibe that Eterna City gives off to me. The music really helps with this aesthetic as well, and as I mentioned before, its presence next to Eterna Forest really just drives up that spooky fall factor. The last location that we're going to be talking about today is one of the most iconic locations in all of Pokemon. It is from Generation 2, nice and early. It is the Bell Chime Trail. This is the location in which you are going up to the Bell Tower to eventually confront the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. And this route, this mini route, screams fall. It is littered with reds and yellows and orange leaves on the ground. In the Pokemon HeartGold and Soul Silver remakes, when the character is walking across these leaves, you you can actually hear the character's feet crunching against the leaves, which is an incredible design aesthetic. Heart Gold and Soul Silver just do the overworld of Pokemon so well. It's it's brilliant in every single way. The colors in the remake specifically really bring out that fall vibe, and the Johto region as a whole is a more fall. Uh, wintry region. A lot of the lore of Ho-Oh and Lugia, a lot of the fact that it is in the Pokemon world connected to the Sinnoh region, the mountain that Mount Silver is part of, is actually theorized by a lot of people to be the same mountain range that is eventually connected up north to Mount Coronet. A lot of theorizing is that the Sinnoh region, the Kanto region, and the Johto region are all connected to one another. You know, obviously we know the connection between Kanto and Johto, but then to the north, is the Sinnoh region. A couple of reasons we know that. The Sinjo ruins are between Johto and Sinnoh, and they are to the north of the Johto region in the game map. This is a lot of the reason to say that the ambiance and the feel and the presence of Ho-Oh Ho -Oh itself just gives off a ton of that fall vibe. Those colors, the reds, the oranges, the yellows that we know that are synonymous with the fall season and the northern hemisphere as where I live is just all present here. The ancient tower really screams of of, the, of Japan in real life and the, the worship that they give to nature and the natural world in Japanese culture also was brought out really well here. And it all comes together to ultimately paint a picture of an incredibly beautiful location that really fits the lore and really fits the season that we are talking about here. So that is my list. That is my excitement for fall video that I decided to put out. I would love to know what some of your favorite fall locations in Pokemon games are. Are there some side game locations that you really like, whether it's from Ranger or Mystery Dungeon or Pokemon Snap? I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video specifically, please be sure to leave a like. It does a ton to show me that you are enjoying and that you want to see more. As we move into the Halloween season, we're going to be doing a lot of cool seasonal festive Pokemon videos on the channel. I'm really looking forward to them, and I hope you are too. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.